Hey everybody, Logan here, and yeah, so they just keep coming out with stuff for me to unbox and review and compare and try and all that other stuff. But as you guys know, anytime there's something big, especially for the Switch, well lately I've been coming on all consoles, but the Switch is one of my favorites. So this time I saw these. And apparently after I picked this one up, they also came out with a red version. But these, these are interesting. And that's the Split Pad Compact. So if you've seen these before, I've covered uh, the other ones. I think I, did I cover the Sonic ones? I know I bought it. But they're the Split Pad Pro. They came out with um, a couple different versions. They came out with the color. I think the original one came out for Damon X Machina. Um, they were black with red, and personally, I now have the the Sonic ones. I actually traded in my uh, original black ones for the Sonic ones. So when I saw these, I was like, "All right, we got to cover these. They look more like just enhanced Joy-Con." So we're gonna see how this looks, how it feels. We're gonna pop it on the Switch OLED because, well, that's what I have. And, um, yeah, so I'm a little worried about these just by looking at them. We'll take a closer look at the box, and I'll show you why. Welcome to Rip and Data Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you everything. From gameplay to gear, their crew is here to take you on a journey through every atmosphere. Releases to news, you don't have to choose. Rip and Data Gaming is Okay, so here we go. Ergonomic controller for handheld mode. Split pad compact. Look the side, the design. Um, I'm not sure why they put this on here. I guess maybe it's for the, a stand of some sort. Um, the design seems a little fat. Um, and the, that's what bothers me. I hate the the triggers in the back the flappy paddle things or whatever you want to call them um not a fan of that extra grip for perfect fit now sometimes when they put these weird textures on them and they say extra grip it's just uncomfortable and lately most controllers have been hitting on the mark but that's usually from uh first party and then sometimes you'll get ones from uh uh, third parties that are not too terrible like power a but there's not much weight to this so something tells me there won't be any rumble and I don't see anything on the box that says there's any HD rumble unless I am blind but I don't see anything on here so we're gonna see if it has HD rumble and it says absolutely nothing about uh, amiibo compatibility so that's ugh, and these things were $50 and I'm gonna apologize now apparently Tuesday time of filming uh, is lawn day in my neighborhood everybody's doing their lawns mowing their lawns there you go listen to that on Tuesdays so yeah I could edit that out, but hey, just so you know, Tuesday is long day apparently. So I'm going to shut up and open up this box. And then, as you can see right here, we have my Switch OLED. Now, one thing is, you hear it again. That would be a lot of editing, and I'm not planning on cutting out half my video because of long day. Okay. Yeah, so this was yellow and gray. Maybe my background music will dry, uh, drown it out. The instruction manual. Wow, that's a massive instruction manual. How many languages? This has to come in multiple languages. Because it shows one, two, three, four, five, six on the back of the box. So... There might be. There might be some rumble. It feels like there's an actuator in there, but we've seen that before. 
where they feel like there's actuators, but they just put in a little weight. I don't know, those are kind of light. I don't know, it feels like there's one. FLRL. No, F F L F R. What does that mean? I don't like the way that feels already. I don't know. So let's move that. Let us turn on the OLED. Whoops, it would help if I do that. Yeah, actually, let's turn it off. Remove my standard Joy-Con. Okay, at least they still fit well, and they snap in nicely. So, it does make the Switch significantly larger. So, it's got a texture to the sticks. D-pad feels nice. Alright. Okay, that's not terrible. It's got a nice rounded feel. It's a little wider. In the hand, it feels wider. So, I took a moment, updated the games, and I decided, you know what? I haven't covered the assign functionality. So, each Joy-Con, uh, or whatever you want to call it, split pad, what have you, as an assign button to make the the triggers on the back assigned to one of the face buttons now if you look here it says how to set up while pressing a sign button either the L or the R then press the button you want to assign and then there you go so you hold that plop depending on each one it'll sign to that trigger and how to unassign while pressing a sign button L and R uh, press the FL uh, FR button and the LED will sign uh, off. So you can also do the same thing with the turbo. As you can see, turbo mode, you just hold it and then press the button, just like it has in the in the classic ones. And then the lights will light up depending on if something's assigned or something's turboed. Turboed, is that even a word? No. So there you go, how to set the turbo functions. You can do it for Joy-Con as well. Uh, five, uh, five second, 10 second, 20 seconds. Wow. Wow. Interesting. That, now that's a nifty little feature, uh, to assign speeds to the, the sticks. So you can go faster with the sticks. That's nifty. I see that being a pain in the butt, uh, with online play, but hey, to each their own. So like I said, we will... Play cruising blast. I don't know why. It's checking, but that's a cool little feature. Um, there's actually nothing in this game that would would require that, but it sits well. These are definitely for sitting on the table. So if you are playing it like this, you can sit. You can even use other controllers or whatnot. Um, if that was the case, I wish it had a thing that was more like that, but hey. Now the buttons have a flat surface, unlike a uh, uh, convex of the most ones where they're rounded and they're much wider than your standard switch buttons. Let's go cruise. Death Valley. Okay, fine, you say it. My Camaro. I miss my Camaro. For those of you who know, you know. Uh, Alright, so now we're going to see just how responsive. Okay. Yeah, and, and I'm doing this on purpose just to see how responsive they are. Uh. Okay. All right, the, the buttons are really responsive. Yeah, I know, I'm just making sure the sticks are... <laughs> okay. All right, so overall, they actually feel very nice. Um, 
I'm not sure how I feel about the, the bulkiness in the back. Uh, because as you're holding it, you will always uh, lay your hands on these. You will always lay your fingers on these in it. It just feels kind of weird. That's the only thing I think that bothers me. This weird texture is a little rougher than I expect. Um, it's not terrible. Uh, the the yellow and the gray, I hate yellow. <laughs> That's one thing you guys will learn if you watch this. I hate yellow. So I wish they had the red when I went and got these. But I didn't see red until uh, a day or two later and at a different store. So I picked these up at Target. Uh, the red ones were Walmart? Walmart. So there you go. Uh, I think these are solid. There's no rumble. No rumble. None. No rumble. None. Zero. So there's no rumble. You got no Amiibo support. Worth $50? I don't think so. If you're going to do that, I think you can buy less expensive ones for the same price on Amazon. Uh, there are other third-party uh, split pad. You know, it's got a good D-pad. The buttons are nice. I just don't think this is a $50 value uh, with removing so many features, especially something as simple as rumble. It doesn't need HD rumble, but at least it could have, you know, classic or some kind of rumble period this does not so i'd say make your choice i don't think it's worth fifty dollars but hey there you go you let me know if you've bought these or if you're interested in buying these or maybe if this helped you in uh any way shape or form but thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video and remember to follow us on our socials at red bandana gaming on instagram and facebook and on Twitter at RBG underscore retro, where I've been a lot more active lately because Twitter's been more fun. <laughs> uh, I used to hate Twitter, and now it's it's fun. But thank you guys so much. Remember to hit that subscribe button, and like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.